Steven Universe is the property of Cartoon Network, Rebecca Sugar, and its respective owners. Any and all footage or images have been used for the sole purpose of critique or parody, and as such are protected under fair use. Please support the official release. How are you? I'm Slice of Otaku. And I bet if you know anything about Steven Universe lore, it's that Rose Quartz is perceived to be Homeworld's sworn adversary, as a leader of the Earth Rebellion. She's known by many as the biggest threat to the mighty Diamond Authority. But what if I told you that there's a threat to their society that's more dangerous than even Rose was? And it isn't some faceless baddie that we've yet to see or hear about. We know it and we know it well. Fusion. Yeah. Fusion being the combination of two or more gems with different gemstones. A practice that is taboo by homeworld standards as seen in the episode The Answer. In that episode, Ruby and Sapphire fuse for the first time creating Garnet. Unbelievable. Disgusting. This is unheard of. The illegal combination disgusts the people of homeworld as they've never seen anything like it since the diamonds don't allow it. But why not? I for one am not willing to believe that the diamonds have it this way with no reasoning. I mean, we've seen the capabilities of mixed gem fusion shown off by the crystal gems. There are tactical and strategic uses for that kind of combined power, yet the notorious planet conquered in homeworld refuses to use it for absolutely no reason? Nah, not buying it. I mean, after witnessing the fusion between Ruby and Sapphire, Blue Diamond threatens to smash Ruby for fusing with a member of her court. Really? Capital punishment for a fusion that lasted only a few seconds? Homeworld must really mean business when it comes to this kind of thing. I think they're scared. And there are a bunch of reasons why they should be. One is that fusion spreads corruption, both literally and metaphorically. The values of Rose and the Crystal Gems about self-worth and the importance of life can easily be ignored by the people of Homeworld because they don't believe such concepts and thoughts apply to them. But fusion is different. It's an experience. It genuinely changes a gem in ways that seem pretty much instantaneous. I mean, just look at how a rare, aristocratic, loyal sapphire ran away with a common ruby grunt. Without thinking, she gave up everything to protect this gem she had only fused with for a moment. Or take a look at Jasper and Lapis, who despite having an unhealthy fusion together, were intoxicated by one another and longed for that feeling again. The same loyal and proud Jasper, who was disgusted by fusion, was now able to understand it and was pleading for another go. If you're still somehow not convinced by this, Pearl and Amethyst both love being fused with Garnet, often leaving one upset. In the episode Cry for Help, this even pushed Pearl to deceive Garnet and waste valuable time just to keep forming Sardonyx. Ruby and Sapphire made it clear in both the episodes Hit the Diamond and Keystone Hotel that after being together for so long, being apart is unbearable or at the very least is dangerous for those around them, causing them to lose sight of their objectives and or rationality. The objective. Rationality. Two things that fundamentally keep homeworld the way it is. When gems fuse, they begin to manifest feelings for one another. Whether they may be romantic or not is irrelevant. The fact that they could possibly care for any gem more than their diamond is blasphemy. Initially, Ruby doesn't even value her own life in comparison to a high-class gem that is of more use to the diamonds. They were gonna break you. Who cares? There's tons of me! Another thing is, fusion is both too powerful and too unpredictable. Consider this. We can think of tons of possible looks and abilities for unseen fusions, but never know what one will truly look like until we see it happen in an episode. It's pretty much the same for Homeworld. Predictability is favorable for them, as they can strategize for certain threats, but the concept of mixed fusion throws that all out the window. But make no mistake, they acknowledge its potential power and seek to weaponize it, as we've seen in Artificial Fusions and The Cluster. By doing so, they're repurposing the fragmented pieces of those who disobey or upset them. I'd say like many modern countries in the real world, the Diamond Authority acts as a division of power, responsibilities, and roles for both the Diamonds and their subordinates. So, fusions between different gems with different roles like Garnet, a fusion between a soldier and what we may assume to be an advisor of sorts, breaks this mold and would reinforce the ideals of the Crystal Gems. And also, like many real countries, the Diamonds like to know what their people may be planning against them. Now, speaking in your head to yourself is all fine and dandy because it's only you hearing it. But if you were to say, fuse and divulge this information into a shared mind, well, that kind of conspiracy would spread like wildfire. And the Diamonds wouldn't even be able to smell it. It's not a form of communication that they can just monitor. You know what? I'm going to throw one in just so the Diamonds don't look like some cliche bad guys, alright? 
Even with kind-hearted gems like Garnet and Amethyst, their fusion Sugalite was volatile and refused to be separated due to a combination of Amethyst's wild tendencies and Ruby's hot temper, which presumably overshadowed Sapphire. So, fuse gems can be a threat to themselves if left unchecked. So, like most modern governments in the real world, the diamonds don't want the people of Homeworld hurting themselves. Maybe because it would be an inconvenience to them, but whatever, you get the point. When Garnet showed up, Rose's Rebellion was armed with a whole new weapon against Homeworld, one that the diamonds systematically withheld from their people, something even Rose didn't consider. So by now using fusion, they could be more fearsome in battle and also, at the same time, boost morale for their soldiers by connecting them together. So now, Homeworld really needs a countermeasure for a power that they themselves can't take part in. I think because of this, Homeworld had fusion in mind when constructing the gem destabilizer. Because when Jasper used this thing against Garnet, it didn't just dissipate her fused form like what would usually happen to a fusion after sustaining a lot of damage. It poofed both of them and reverted them back into their gems. I mean, Homeworld can afford to take chances when it comes to fusion. It's too dangerous to their entire existence to leave unchecked. But what do you guys think about all this? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you think that anything that I said in this video is interesting, please share it on social media, with your friends, whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.